Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, March the 13th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 109, and Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 1 through 11. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hold not your peace, O God of my praise. Psalm 109. Hold not your peace, O God of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They surround me with words of hatred and fight against me without a cause. In return for my love, they are my adversaries, and while I pray for them. They have rewarded me evil for good, and hatred for my love. Set a wicked man against them, and let Satan stand at his right hand. Then they shall be judged. Let them be condemned, and let their appeal be denied. Let their days be few, and let others take their office. Let their children be orphans, and their spouses widowed. Let their children be vagabonds and beggars. Let them seek their bread in desolate places. Let creditors take all they have, and let strangers take the fruit of their labor. Let none extend mercy to them, and let there be none to favor their orphan children. Let their sons and daughters be destroyed, and in the generation following, blot out their names. Remember the iniquity of their fathers, and retain the sins of their mothers. Let their sin be always before you, that God may remove their memory from the earth, because they did not show mercy, but persecuted the poor and the needy, and killed the brokenhearted. As they loved cursing, so let curses come to them, as they delighted in not giving blessings, so let blessings be far from them. As they clothed themselves with cursing like a garment, so let curses come into their bowels like water and like oil into their bones. Let curses be like garments which cover them and a belt that they cannot remove. Let this be the reward my accusers receive from God for them that speak evil against me. But deliver me, O God, for your name's sake, because you love me, rescue me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I fade away like the shadow in the evening. I am shaken off like the locust. My knees are weak with fasting, and my body is thin and gaunt. I have become a reproach to them. When they looked upon me, they shook their heads. Help me, O Most High, my God. Save me according to your mercy, that they may know that this is your hand, that you, God, have done it. Let them curse me, but you will bless me. When they rise against me, let them be put to shame, and then your servant will rejoice. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame. Let them cover themselves with their own confusion, as with a cloak. I will greatly praise you with my mouth, I will praise you among the multitude, for you shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save them from those that condemn their souls. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hold not your peace, O God of my praise. The lesson is from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 18, beginning at verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Most High. Come, go down to the potter's house, and there I will let you hear my words. And so I went to the potter's house, and there he was working at his wheel. The vessel he was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand. 
and he reworked it into another vessel, as seemed good to him. And then the word of God Most High came to me, Can I not do with you, O house of Israel, just as this potter has done? Just like the clay in the potter's hands, so you are in my hand, O house of Israel. At one moment I may declare concerning a nation or a kingdom that I will pluck up and break down and destroy it. But if that nation concerning which I have spoken turns away from evil, I will change my mind about the disaster that I intend to bring. And at another moment I may declare concerning a nation or kingdom that I will build and plant it. But if it does evil in my sight, not listening to my voice, that I will change my mind about the good that I had intended to do. Now, therefore, say to the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Thus says God Most High, Look, I am a potter shaping evil against you and devising a plan against you. Turn now, all of you, from your evil way and amend your way and your doings. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for all people in their daily life and work, our families and friends and neighbors, for those who are alone, for the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. For this community, this nation and the whole world, for all who work for justice and freedom and peace. For the just and the proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick and the friendless and the needy. For peace in Jerusalem and unity in the church for all who proclaim the gospel, and for all who seek the truth. For our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, and for all who serve God in the church. We pray for all who died, especially Howard, John William David, Joseph Benedict, and Ramon Iden, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. In your tender love, deliver us, O God, from those who falsely accuse us, and comfort our aching hearts. Let us always remember the poor and needy, and may we ever sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever forever. 